everyone. I'm Candy. Today, I'm standing here to share with you the wonderful experiences when I was studying in Hama Village. Three weeks ago, I spent a lot of time and energy on social networks and YouTube. I was often sleepy, tired, and couldn't concentrate when I study. But when I came to the Harma village, could live in a healthier, greener environment, I don't use cell phones and internet. I sleep at 10 p.m. and wake up at 5.30 a.m. And this gives me more surprising gifts than I thought. The first gift is, I have time to talk to myself every morning and every evening before I go to bed. I often ask myself about my situations and encourage myself with positive words. Since then, I know what my problems are, what my ability is, what I want to do, and what I want to become. I have a deeper understanding of myself. To accept, to change, and make my soul happier. Secondly, I have the chance to connect with great friends. I'm quite shy and afraid of communicating and chatting with strangers. When I came here, I decided to train. This training process gives me a valuable lesson. That is, it's not hard to have two friends. You just need to give them your sincere words and your sincere feelings and be brave to turn the kindness that often stops us thinking into real actions. Real words are always easy to say because it is available in our minds without having to think or consider much. The results make me very happy and proud. I have a lot of good friends. They are like my family. They are kind enthusiastic and always willing to help whenever they can. Certainly, when I leave the village, I will miss them very much. The first gift is, I feel very lucky to have the chance to study here. Before going to the village, I was afraid to speak English. I can't say any natural sentences but when I was in the village environment where everyone was eager to learn, everyone boldly spoke English every day, I found myself spoke more. On first few days, it was difficult for me to just one sentences, but gradually, I was very surprising about my reflexes. I understand better when communicating and I say longer English sentences. I'm very happy. The thing I miss the most are the lessons I had spent in the kitchen, which were always filled with laughter. I miss the time when Emily called me, Candy, give me a spoon, or ask her to soup for me, please. And I will quickly reply, okay, wait me or sure I will help you. Or there were times we, when we gathered together to chop up a cleanse. We talked and sang together in English. Those are beautiful memories that I will never forget. And finally, I want to send a message to myself and everyone around. Pulses in practicing every day and you can do everything you want. Take the time to understand your spirit, to nurture a beautiful soul, a free soul, and train your kindness by being brave, dare to think and dare to do. Don't let it stop thinking and will get more wonderful gifts than you can imagine. And I want to say thank you to my parents for giving the chance to come here. Thanks to my teacher, my friends, for giving me the wonderful experiences. 
Thank you for listening to me. Thanks.